So we're going to study animals today. Let's start with different types of animals. We have mammals, which include horses, uh, cats or dogs. And mammals don't lay eggs um, like some other creatures. Uh, they give birth to live animals. And um, yeah, it's, it includes most of, uh, well, a lot of the animals which we all know from childhood. Um, rodent would be animals like mice and rats, very small mammals. It's a type of mammal, a rodent. A rodent. Reptiles are not mammals. Reptiles are things like crocodiles, snakes, lizards. Um, so I think they're cold-blooded, I believe, um, and we would call mammals warm-blooded. Um, okay, on to insects. Insects are the very small creatures which are often six, they ha often have six legs, but not always. Um, and yeah, they're very small, and I think most of you know what insects are. They include ants, bees, wasps, these kind of creatures. Um, you can split up animals into carnivores, which are meat eaters, also known as meat eaters. Um, herbivores, which are obviously only grass and vegetation, that's why they've got the word herb there. And omnivores, this omni means everything or all. If you speak about God, you might say he's omniscient, which means he knows about everything. Well, omnivore means it eats everything. It eats vegetation, it eats meat, and so people are omnivores. Some people. <laughs> Some people are herbivores. Um, okay, animals would be, uh, sorry, um, types, another two types of animals are predator and prey. The predator is the hunter and he hunts the prey who is the hunted, the poor animal which will be eaten. Okay, um, parts of different animals now. Birds have wings to fly. They have a beak which is what we call a, a bird's mouth. They have claws, which I suppose they could scratch with, just as cats scratch with their claws. So it's a useful verb. Um, but a bird uses its claws for maybe taking a worm out of the ground, pulling it out of the ground. And they're covered in feathers. Um, so a feather is obviously this thing which is on all birds. Sorry about the terrible drawing. I've never been very good at drawing. Um, so birds are covered in feathers just like fish are covered in scales and cats are covered in fur um, and birds have a nest which is where they keep their eggs. Fish are covered in scales they also have gills which are the things which convert they're near the head of the fish and they convert oxygen well I think they take oxygen out of the water and use the oxygen in their body um, they also have fins, which on a shark would look like this out of the water. It's the top fin, the dorsal fin, I think. And then they also have two more fins sometimes down here. Um, so it's for helping them move around in the water, I think. I'm not a biologist. Um, okay, on to cats. They have whiskers. for. Uh, I think they're to see if they can get through small places, I, I believe. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's something to do with their... Um, movement and motion. Um, claws, they will have for uh, scratching their, um, their the prey sometimes. If they've caught a rodent, maybe they've caught a mouse, then they will use the claws to kill the mouse. Um, they're covered in fur. They also have a tail for balance. And paws, we would use this for a dog or a cat. It's the whole um, part of the hand or foot, but you wouldn't call it a hand or foot. You would call it Paw, a paw. They have four paws. So if you want a dog to give you its paw, you often say paw, paw as a command. Horses have a mane. Um, so do lions, by the way. And the mane is the hair which comes down the back of the horse's neck. If we've got a horse there, that's the mane. And they also have hooves on their feet. Um, so a horse's foot is called a horse's hoof. And we have to put horseshoes on those hooves. I think if you go horse riding, they put horseshoes on the hooves. So some miscellaneous words now. A habitat is any place where an animal lives and breeds. And so um, to breed is to reproduce. The same as to mate. If an animal breeds or mates, it reproduces. There's a certain time of year for some animals when they mate. And we call this the mating season or the mating period. Um, 
a breed of we talk about dogs there are many different breeds of dogs um there's a new breed of dog downstairs now a very large breed of dog called a rottweiler um so uh horses also have several different types of breeds and i think a lot of animals have different types of uh, of breed where it's the same animal but a different breed um, droppings just refers to any uh, waste which the animal produces and leaves on the ground and so generally it's not very pleasant to see a lot of animal droppings around um, poachers are illegal hunters they're hunters who don't have permission to hunt where they are so they're kind of baddies um, blood sports are any sports which involve animal cruelty cruelty to animals in the sense of perhaps fox hunting is known as a blood sport because the fox gets ripped apart or bullfighting is known as a blood sport because it's very bloody there's some blood that um, appears in this sport so these would be called blood sports an animal shelter is a place which looks after stray dogs or cats or other animals stray just means that they sh a, it's a domesticated animal which doesn't have a home it basically means homeless stray but it's only used for animals so an animal shelter is for stray animals some adjectives then docile about an animal means not aggressive it doesn't it won't attack you if it's a docile animal um, tame means it has got used to humans and so it usually means that it won't attack you as well because it's got used to humans but um, yeah a tame animal is one who has already lived with people for a long time savage and fierce both sound very aggressive and violent um, and so we're certainly talking about wild animals now and not tame animals um, so lions are savage um, tigers are fierce these kind of animals we'd use these adjectives for anything which is dangerous um, we also have domesticated animals which are animals you have at home and wild animals animals in the wild and stray I've already mentioned um, I think I might quickly add as well animals can bite you um, and they can sting you we usually use bite if the animal does it with its mouth and I think even spiders do it with their mouths and so we say a spider bite but we say sting for bees and wasps for these insects where they put a sting under the skin where they in kind of inject it into your bloodstream then we would say a, a sting the animals uh, uh, you know a bee sting or a wasp sting okay we've got some good phrasal verbs now animals feed on different things and so if you want to talk about what an animal eats you can say the frog feeds on the flies around the pond or whatever you could also say prey on and this is exactly the same as feed on even though the prey is a hunted we do say tigers prey on I don't know gazelles or I don't know what they eat I've got to be honest but they prey on small mammals perhaps small mammals or sometimes large mammals okay dig up means the animal finds something in the ground so some animals dig up um, their prey they might find their prey in the ground like if it if they eat worms maybe they dig up worms in order to feed on the worms um, also animals can die out when an animal is an endangered species perhaps like the tiger is quite a famous endangered species people worry that it may die out in 50 years which is the same as it may go extinct in 50 years now we've got some great phrasal verbs here wolf down which is obviously from the word wolf it means eat something very quickly so maybe you wolf down your dinner in 10 minutes just eat it very quickly fish out means take something out of water um very often it's when it's quite carefully or at the time i can the example i'll give you is when you drop something down the toilet and you have to fish it out um, it just means take it take something out of the water um, it could be used in lots of different situations not just the toilet when you drop something there but if a boy falls into a lake you could say that the lifeguard fished him out of the water and it just means take out of the water um, rabbit on I've mentioned in another video another phrasal verb video it's the same as go on about it's when somebody is speaking about something annoying or irritating and they won't stop so maybe you think I'm rabbiting on about um, a lot of these vocabulary topics <laughs> if it's annoying then I'm rabbiting on about the same old stuff again and again chicken out is when you are too afraid to do something 
when you don't have the courage to do something, you're chicking out. So maybe you want to do a bungee jump and then at the last minute you chicken out. You don't have the courage to do it. You don't do it. Or maybe you're going to um, go and travel to Australia. You've decided that you're going to go on this holiday, but then at the last minute you chicken out and you decide that you won't enjoy it for some reason. You don't have the courage to do it. So it's related to courage and bravery. And it's when, you know, you're a coward when you chicken out. Um, but lastly, beaver away. This is related to the animal beaver. And a beaver is very hard working, we think. And so when somebody is beavering away, they're working really hard. It means they're being very industrious, very conscientious, maybe. They're beavering away um, with their homework or their... It just means working hard, focused on one particular task or, or a job. Okay, if you have any questions about any of these words, please ask under the video, and I hope to see you all soon.